The vision I have is to make us the foremost research-centered college of medicine. It means we can impact policy and then we can actually impact our environment. Bring about infrastructural development, create a serene environment that allows learning to occur. On the 29th of September 1961, the UNESCO Commission report was accepted by the federal government of Nigeria. An immediate step was taken to establish the University of Lagos Teaching Hospital. The College of Medicine, University of Lagos, is one of our foremost universe colleges of medicine in Nigeria. And it's been around since 1962, and it's quite a unique college in the sense that it was formed by an act of parliament, just like the university, as a body corporate within the University of Lagos. The first batch of 28 preclinical students was admitted in October 1962. On the 1st of April 1967, it was decreed that the University of Lagos Medical School be redesignated College of Medicine, University of Lagos. The school model was to cater for 50 students. So that there's been a real big drop in terms of infrastructure, in terms of the staff numbers, and somewhere along the line, we've had a lot of, I would use the word, the brain drain. The college was initially meant to offer two main courses and 100% funded by the government. As the years go by, the population of students for medicine increases, the number of departments increases, but the infrastructure, the fund, and the personnel remain the same. And at the time we were in school, there, was, there, was, there were no comparable dental schools around. Because what we did here was standard. It was as if we were training in England. The facilities were top class. I remember even as a student, we had things that you would see in, in universities in developed countries, medical schools in developed countries, in terms of equipment and, and what was called then latest equipment. This is a college that boasts of international students and professors that come for researches due to its facility. Today, it can hardly train its students up to international standards. Each set right now, we have about 50 students. And um, we have enough stools, but the tables are usually not enough. We, we've had this for a long time. We do not have prospect sheets. We don't even have a person that can do it for us. We have to go and look for someone to do this for us. And we don't have the funding to produce new pots. We cut soft tissue, we cut hard ones. Bone is the hardest one that we cut here. So we need a special machine, the saw, to cut them. But because the blade there is now working now, we use the hand saw, which is not quite adequate. This is uh, one of the parts of the, our equipment uh, armamentarium for physiology and pharmacology, the grass polygraph. We used to have about 20 of these. When we go into the teaching lab, you see the tables. Each of these equipment should be mounted with each table so that any group of five to seven students be around one and use them in study. Some of the clinical exams are written in some of the basic um, laboratories as, um, and these are basically as a result of limited available resources. Most of our students are really um, are not coming out um, in flying colors, are not doing well academically as a result of poor facilities. The students receive lectures in the most terrible condition. The hostel accommodation is unimaginable. I'm 
the students of College of Mercy University of Lagos. Welcome to Block 7, this is my room, I'm 719. And this is a formal room. As you can see, there's no light. It's quite not conducive for us. My friends are sleeping on the floor in their beds. And we don't have any light in this room for the past four months. We are told that they have a problem with our junction bus. This is our comfort. Two people are to share one cupboard and it's not quite you know, ethical to me. Uh, the electric wiring is yeah. so bad. Some, some of these things are not working. Like I said, our lamps, we charge our lamps from the class so as to bring our books in this room. So that's all about my room. When a medical student who will become a doctor is unhealthy, due to poor living conditions, who becomes the doctor? One of my passion is to make sure that students grow up in an environment that makes them feel like gentlemen and ladies. You cannot bring people up in a slum and expect them to behave like gentlemen. No electricity to even have practical classes. The departments offer makeshift alternatives to solve problems. I believe educational institutions such as ours, the hospitals, should be top on NEPA's priority. We shouldn't have to spend so much. It's like burning so much on energy. You can't, I mean, I, was, I did my PhD in Cardiff. I would finish an experiment and it would be on ice till morning. You don't dare do that. So it already limits some of the things you can do. There are no medical libraries to store specimen which can be used as research materials. The library is the heart of the university. So um, we are hope we, well, we've started. We've started building e-resources. There's a lot of resource on the internet, but some of these we have to subscribe to. So there are so many areas, and I'm hoping that people will come in and work with us, that people can work with us in terms of helping us to build laboratories, classrooms, hostels, improve the library, um, bring in scholars, give us endowed chairs. Medical education is expensive, very expensive. It's been calculated that for us to really achieve what we need to do, each student should be paying, it costs about, about 750,000 Naira a year to train one medical student. But we don't pay tuition, and we pay minimal fees for, for, for accommodation. If we can't achieve 100% success, we should at least start the journey. I owe it to myself and the generations to come to ensure that the healthcare workers are well trained. As you will have an accident on Lagos Ibadan Express, we are going to be taken into one hospital. We all have to start investing in our health. And I think it starts with the medical school. But we really do need that help. And we hope as many people can join us so that as we move forward, that they are part of this progression and we can all look back in maybe in 10 years and say wow the college of medicine is a beautiful campus i don't know any profession who is not a stakeholder in health because this health touches us all in a very fundamental manner so i ask that you all join the college of medicine the university of lagos the university of first choice to move forward thank you let's regain the glory of the foremost college of medicine its products are to save our lives.